the French Bulldog and the Boston Terrier. Can you tell the difference between the two? If you can't, don't worry. A lot of people have a hard time telling the difference between them. Though they share a similar look, these two breeds differ in behavior, which is something to think about when trying to determine which one is better for you. This is Dog Breeds FAQ Channel. There's a good reason why these two breeds share their cute and distinctive appearances. Both the Frenchie and the Boston Terrier share a common ancestor in the English Bulldog. When you take a good long look at the mugs of these dogs, I'll bet this doesn't come as a shock. However, the other dogs used in the mix to create these two breeds lead us to differences between these two shovel-faced beauties. That said, let's take a look at the differences between the French Bulldog and the Boston Terrier. As stated, though they're similar in appearance, their differences might make the difference whether or not either one would be the right choice for your home. First, let's get to know the French Bulldog. The French Bulldog is a combination of toy Bulldogs and Terriers. The Terriers were introduced to give the Frenchie its distinguished long straight ears. And the temperament of a Frenchie? Well, the overall temperament of the French Bulldog is best described as a clown. In fact, one of their nicknames is the Clown Dog, due to their silly and playful nature. A less fortunate nickname they received over the years is the Frog Dog, because of their wide head, short snout and big mouth. Frenchies rarely bark and have been bred to be great companion dogs. They're generally good with other dogs and love to show affection to their families. French Bulldogs are relatively easygoing and take well to training, but can sometimes prove to be stubborn. After all, they are closely related to the English Bulldog, which can be a fairly stubborn breed. What kind of exercise could a dog with such a relaxed nature need? When it comes to energy, the French Bulldog takes after its larger ancestor. Most of the time, Frenchies don't need or want a whole lot of exercise, and they're generally low-energy dogs. They will have spurts of energy, but those will be short-lived, and before you know it, it's time to curl up somewhere and catch some sleep. Most French Bulldogs maintain weight under 28 pounds. Still, due to their low energy temperament, they are in danger of becoming obese if owners aren't careful. Whether they feel like it or not, taking daily walks can be a great way to keep a French Bulldog fit and trim, and short walks will do just fine. They're also light work in the grooming department. Because of their short, close to body coat of fur, grooming is a breeze with this breed. A quick and occasional brushing will do the trick, with baths as needed depending on what they get themselves into. Because of their wrinkly faces, extra attention needs to go into cleaning out the wrinkles. Owners need to make sure that the skin and fur are dry inside the folds to avoid infections and sores. Now, let's take a glance at the Boston Terrier. The history of the Boston Terrier is a bit more complex, but much better documented than that of the French Bulldog. All true Boston Terriers are linked to one special dog, which was given the name Hooper's Dog. Hooper's dog came from an old English bulldog and the now extinct white English terrier mix, and the actual name given to it by Hooper was Judge. Judge was bred with a white English bulldog type dog named Kate, which is where the Boston Terrier's blocky head came from. These two dogs created the base for the entire breed. The Boston Terrier was bred down throughout the years, from a bulky bruiser to its smaller, more manageable size we recognize today. What kind of temperament comes with such a background? Surprisingly, Boston Terriers differ from individual to individual. All are generally known to be friendly, loyal and loving family pets, but some can tend to be more aloof than others. In the same litter, you can wind up with some dogs that are outgoing class clowns, while others behave more reserved and shy. No matter how the pendulum of temperament swings, the Boston Terrier is a dapper, charming dog that likes to play and is always paying attention to what's going on around it. When it comes to how well they get along with other dogs, this is where their lineage kicks in. Boston Terriers need to be socialized early and often as they grow up to get along successfully with other dogs. They've also managed to hold on to a protective streak over their owners, common to their larger ancestry. Boston Terriers make better burglar alarms than they do watchdogs due to their petite size, but don't tell them that. Some, not all, Boston Terriers tend to be one-person dogs and take it upon themselves to watch over their households going on, always securing its family. Some of these instincts can be relaxed through exercise. 
Unlike its French Bulldog doppelganger, the Boston Terrier is considered by AKC to be a moderately energetic breed. A couple of walks a day will help extinguish some of this energy, and they are always ready to play. Because these dogs are more active, they aren't as susceptible to becoming obese. However, both breeds suffer from over-exhaustion with too much exercise. Because of this, it's best not to overdo it with long walks. Like the French Bulldog, the Boston Terrier is a low-maintenance dog. The grooming needs of the Boston Terrier are few. Similar to the French Bulldog, an occasional brushing will keep shedding at bay. But their smooth, short and thin fur coat doesn't require more than that. A bath from time to time is fine, but not too many, as the oils in the skin help give their fur that shine. A bath every four to six weeks will be more than enough for the Boston Terrier, depending on how much it likes to play in the mud. To conclude this video, how about a quick rundown of the differences between these two breeds? The French Bulldog is shorter, wider, and has a more relaxed temperament. The Boston Terrier has slightly longer legs, a slightly sleeker appearance, is more energetic, and requires more exercise. Frenchies have no trouble getting along with either man or beast. At the same time, the Boston Terrier needs more guidance in that department. So, out of the two breeds, which do you think would be the best fit for your home? Do you have or have you ever had either of these types of dogs? If so, let me know in the comment section down below and let me know which breed is best for you. And please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thanks for watching.